Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Grumpy Grumbles podcast. I'm Tom. I'm Vince. Vince. Hey, buddy. We almost, we almost lost it on that you one. You know what? <laughs> you know, I feel like, you know, normally practice makes, like, you know, people Perfect. better at their jobs. You know, like, you, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you know, you want to be really good at something, you need to do it over and over and over again. Of course. And, like, this is 45 episodes in. We're, uh, yeah, right? we're now 45? 45, my age. I feel like we're getting worse at this technology anyway. It's Friday. The it, summer's but it's every, every Friday we've been recording the last three weeks, uh, so we can't blame it on the day. But the, it's the fact that the summer's almost here. We're, we're, we're on that cusp of a beautiful day. That's fair. Sun's out. Let's yeah. just party out there. And we're fair. still we're still tigers in we're cages right on. now. You're trying to tempt me with some devil liquid? Some trying to be a good boy? Bud Light Seltzer? Mango. Thought I'd try it out for the weekend. <laughs> it kick. smells delicious. I'll tell yeah. you that much. You know, um, I've got some guests coming over. I don't want to really spoil the party yet because it's not mine to spoil. But, uh, yeah, we've got some big things happening uh, in the horizon. Ew. Um, and uh, excited. And, you know, when it comes around, we will announce it. And it'll be big. Fantastic. Um, yeah, you, you've got a taste of it. Yeah. And, uh, Definitely. Yeah. So, totally. Totally. But anyway, listen, it's Friday. We said it's Friday. I yeah. just finished my first full week of filming, since, you know, from the new season again. Yes. Uh I it's fantastic. It's good, it's good it? to be back. It's yeah, good to be back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the transition was basically like what eight weeks uh, of like time off. Yes. Um, no, I had oh. like three weeks off, and then I started. Really? Okay, so I had three weeks quick? off, wow. and then I still was prepping. So I prepped like for like yeah. two and a half weeks, three weeks, whatever. So I guess I had three weeks off, three weeks prep. So I guess that's six weeks before we started filming again, wow. essentially. Okay. And uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's good to be back. My feet. I tell you what, though. Yeah. My feet are fucking killing me, dude. You need new shoes? Uh, no, uh, these are new. Yeah, but the, yeah, you. But you know what? Shoes. I wear Vans. I wear Converse. Yeah, wear I know Converse. Vans. Uh, you know, here the problem is though. Uh, I I don't wear Vans. I wear Converse. <laughs> I said Vans because I got a little scotch. <laughs> I got a little scotch in the old system today. <laughs> Let's just burn all the sponsors. <laughs> Here's what's up. I drank scotch and I'm a little scotch buzzed. Right. Because like I haven't I haven't drank in a while. I lost like eight pounds. Like I'm trying to lose weight again. You know, we talked about. For it. You. <laughs> you, do, won't, you know what? You don't need to put your glasses on. You can see it without your glasses on. I'll tell you that much. But uh, no, I uh, I just happy to be back at work, and right. I'm. Okay, I want to like just do the rundown of what it is like for me and for people in the film industry right. to uh, go to work in COVID times because like it's pretty fucked up right now. And everybody, every, what bothers me is like there's a lot of people who are like, how can the film industry still be open with COVID? Like they're irresponsible. There's all yeah. these people. Blah, blah blah. I get tested three times a week. Yeah. Actually, this week. I got tested four times. Okay. They double tested me on Monday. Right. They because te- I'm I'm with cast. Okay. So I got tested a rapid test and a normal one. Okay. Which did not make sense to me because if the rapid one's gonna give you the answer, <laughs> right? What's the point of the second one? I didn't ask. It was two Q tips up my nose. Right. That's all I know. I hate to be the accountant. So yeah. I'll just say Wait, it's not my money. <laughs> um. Anyway, and we get tested three times a week if right. we're on set. When you're on set, you're constantly wearing like we're not wearing. Honestly, the show I'm working on. Uh, I'm really happy with the COVID department. Okay, good. So, you know, like, there's other shows I've heard that they're just like, wear any mask you want. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. You can see. But, you know, whatever it is. On this show, we have a great COVID team. Right. They're really, you know, adamant about us being safe. And we, right. we are, we're all keeping our distance right. as much as possible. Right. Okay, don't be wrong. We, sometimes we end up in a set. Right. That should only really fit 20 people. And you shouldn't have 20 people in there, and we're 20 people in there. Right. You know, like, it is film. circumstances. What are you going to do inside a small set? We film in small space. Excuse me. Small spaces. Goddamn scotch. Gotcha. Um, (laughs) It's a small sense. So... We all they we all wear a K ninety five mask. Right. We switch them midday. Like they if yeah. they if they see ours are dirty, the COVID girls come up to us and they'll give us a new okay. mask. Nice. You know, I, I feel really safe. Right. Right. And you know, I just want it like, you know, we're really practicing safe measures on set. Yeah. So for anybody who's like, Oh, film shouldn't be doing da 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 Okay, listen. And, 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 you know, and like the perspective we have to give the people that don't know it, it's we're protecting we're protecting ourselves from the virus. But on the note, because it's three times a week, yeah. it's because it's over a million dollar investment that yeah. we're protecting from the production. Because oh, yeah. if they go down, the actors is what I mean. You don't have a show. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, do you want do you want to be the responsible for so and so's death? Yeah. Because you just didn't care. Totally. And I'm also right. not gonna like knowing that they're going through so many measures right. of making sure we're safe and the actors right. and us and you know so and so everybody all right. the way to the accounting department to the yeah, you know course. people who work in offset. Yeah. I feel safe, and the fact that like I won't go out anywhere, 
because well, I don't want to be the guy. Yeah, well, no, just here. I don't, no. don't want to be the guy, and that's why we don't also have guests. Exactly. I don't want to be the guy who brings COVID. Exactly. To set. I get that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone wants. No. To. God no. I mean, you know. I, I started a new show on Monday. Yeah. And Monday is just to do the test. Sure. And to do a Zoom meeting to go over the protocols on how they practice it. Perfect. Um, I hope they all have an open dialogue on the Zoom. Well, I hate because people that, but just that do open dialogue. Uh, depends. <laughs> I, just, I mean, depends on how I went people. on one, and there's always like that oh, yeah, one there's person. There's the one guy. Uh, what, or what a girl. Fucks up my glasses. The one I was on, it was a girl. I, I was being gender uh, neutral guy. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm being 2021. It's guys and girls can do both. Both be assholes on Zoom chat. Yes. So I and look, I'm even wearing this wristband yeah. because we get checked in yeah, every you day. Checked, yep. You know. Yep. And, I was going to collect them all. Did you color this? Did you no, color this was black. Oh, it's wow. Black. That's awesome. I was going to collect them all because I wanted to be like yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But then, you know, I think people might think I don't shower. Yeah, that's it. So. Yeah, that was gross. I mean, let them think it. <laughs> they may not be wrong, but I don't want to give them proof. So right. I take a. Anyway, I'm really happy with yeah. team. Also, we do five dollar Friday, so this this is a oh, tradition nice, on set. Nice. Uh, for people who don't know, and maybe I shouldn't be talking about some, it. Some, it's some not a, you know whatever. It's basically it's like so we put everybody puts five dollars in if if you want. Yeah. It's you know you don't have to. It's no forced uh, right whatever. And uh, so they you put five dollars for one draw. We right. put in as a group like the props team. We yep. do twenty bucks as four of us. Yep. Everybody does one week. Blah 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 whatever. And today the COVID girls won. Oh nice yeah it's great. Have you ever won? Never. I won once. Did you? And it was on the on a pilot that was a really brutal pilot. Oh no shit! But it was uh, it was props team and uh, nice. basically yeah just split it. It was like three hundred seventy five dollars. That's it. Yeah, well, you know, but you split it. It's good. Hey, it's more wait, three hundred seventy five each, or it was three hundred seventy five uh, total? Total. Oh, that's so, but, well, it was a pilot, right? It yeah, wasn't was a real show. Five people went in, right? Yeah, but on the sometimes. show today it was six hundred and fifty dollars, I think. But there was one we had that right. was eighteen hundred dollars. Wow. Okay, so. 16 Blocks was shot here. You remember that movie with Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis and uh, Most Def. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Willis every Friday would put $10,000 of his own money in. What? Yeah. <laughs> back How much in, fucking money is Bruce Willis? Back in the day. <laughs> back in the day when money was money in our industry. How many, how many fucking, how many weeks was he working? <laughs> was he in for fucking 12 weeks? That's a, uh, let me no, do bad math. That's $120,000. The movie wasn't that. It, it, I worked on it for a couple of days. I never worked with it on set, but I feel like it went really quick because it was Young Street. Like that yeah. 16 blocks on that strip yeah. was Young Street. The yeah. subway was Bay Bloor subway. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it was like hot destinations in the summer okay. that you had to get in and out right away with the permits, right? Because everything's happening in that top time frame. Was that a good movie? I can't remember. It was all right. Yeah, it was bad. It, it was, it you know, was not, you know no, what movie I love? Right? No. Well, <laughs> do you know what movie I love most definitely? What's that? Is it most definitely? Am I saying it wrong? Most definitely. Most, def most, def most, def yeah. most definitely. Isn't that what it was? Yeah. White term. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> so, oh, fucking scotch. Um, <laughs> shouldn't have done it today. Uh, I loved him in uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. I thought he was fucking that was a cool movie. so good. I I re did you read the book? No. I started reading it like, I don't know, a while ago. And then right. I, I don't know. I stopped. I don't know. I'm too busy reading scripts. Read the scripts. That's what I say. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, uh, I, I love that movie. Jim Henson. Puppet guy? Yeah. He wrote it? Uh, no, but uh, a lot of the puppeteers. Is, oh, is, dude. The voice of the, the sad robot, Jim, uh, man. Jim Henson. The sad, uh, the snip. Uh, not snip. What's his name? Uh, the guy from Harry Potter. Who was like the bad, like the bad professor? Oh, uh, He's got this Snape. Snape. What's the guy's real name? The guy that died. Yeah, Alan the, Rickman. The, Alan Rickman. Yeah, yes. what a fucking perfect voice for that He's robot. Just a great actor. Great actor. Right. What a great voice for that robot, man. His first movie, Die Hard. Oh, he's a bad guy. Yeah, but not the main guy, was he? Yeah, he was a yes. Gruber. Yes, Hans. Yes. Oh, I thought he was in like the no, second. And that one. was his first movie. Fucking a. Yeah. Eh? And he's German, right? He's supposed to be German. Oh, well, German. He's English, dude. right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet that pissed off the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking World War II, baby. <laughs> I'm the history buff. But, um, not true. No, no that's a not. lie. No, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> I do like history, though. You know what uh, I like, I know, though? I, I like uh, fiction history. Uh, you like the Game of Thrones bullshit? Yeah. yeah see, that's Rome. What, Rome. Love that show. Rome, Rome, I don't think. See, again. Even you, and you know what I like about those right. TV shows? And What's this that? is going to sound dumb, but... Okay. It's for both men and women. Yeah, of course. I mean, boobs and dicks. That's what you see all the time. They show dicks. Yeah. They show boobs. It's for all the costumes and everything. Was oh, so yeah. Extravagant. That's, that's where amazing. Listen, I'm talking about dicks here, man. Yeah. I don't know why. You're boobs drunk. and dicks. I'm not. I'm scotch buzzed. <laughs> scotch bonnet, but scotch buzzed. <laughs> it wasn't my scotch. Let's put it that No, way. it was someone else's. Um, it wasn't mine either. Should I have to call Denzel? Don't call Denzel. <laughs> the babysitter? Do not call Denzel. No, because he's worse. If he starts drinking, oh, he'll start okay. drinking. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and we're fucked. He's fucked. Uh. He's going to carry a pizza like a briefcase. Somehow, <laughs> somehow he's going to have a pizza show up, and he's going to briefcase it out of here. I've never seen someone carry a pizza like that in my entire life. I want. I, I don't know. I kind of want to <laughs> ask him, but I'm sure he doesn't remember. Like the point of him opening the pizza again, or Listen. did he just throw it down the sheet? Was no, it like just, no, no, no. You know you're going to eat that pizza. Regardless of no everything's matter, on the I, top. Listen, I don't discriminate. You I just, eat pizza. I don't care what it looks like. You just bulldoze the, he's just the like, toppings. From he's the- like, you know that drunk girl sitting on the sidewalk <laughs> eating a pizza? He's like, that in this apartment. He's just like. Is there a tear? Uh, two Zambucas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we need uh, out. We need out. I miss I the out. I, w- I want to go to the I miss the parties. So I hit, miss the music. I miss, like, just people watching. Vegas is the best drunken Let's just get out of Toronto. Walking. We should just go to Florida. I'm down. I love that. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the heat, man. I'm, I, oh, I mean, Toronto's been, it's been really nice. <laughs> it's been perfect Maybe weather. Maybe I should talk to you later, but there's a beach volleyball tournament in Miami that I definitely want to go We're see. going, man. <laughs> Can we, what if, we, if we drove down there, it's fine, right? Let's drive. Fuck it. Road we're trip. Do- we're doctors. What doctors? <laughs> what kind of doctor are you? Uh, I can't even think of a bullshit doctor. What's the one that does the feet? I'm a, a proctologist. <laughs> Wait, that's feet, right? Yeah, or is sure. that the asshole doctor? <laughs> I'm. I do. I'm either a foot doctor or an asshole doctor. <laughs> well, which one are you? Well, Can I be both? Yeah. They both smell bad, don't they? I, what do you specialize in? Shitty parts of the body. That's right. The parts Real that you don't want to talk about. Parts. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. doctors without borders. All right. Let's just let's talk real for a second. Okay. Uh, speaking of like shitty jobs, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, you know, like uh, people like Doctor Pill Popper. You ever, you ever pill? It's a pimple popper. Oh yeah. You know okay, that. Yeah, you know yeah. that like that chick who like pops those like gross. I've never watched it because I I can't. I watch so many of those. Movies. I'm sure you do. I, I don't know why, but I can see that you're doing that. You know I love gross shit. That's, yeah. that's the thing. It's great. And then you know I I started watching like ingrown nail videos too. Oh god. Oh god, those were the worst. I hate feet. I don't know why I watch them. I hate. I uh, listen. Do you like you walk around your house barefoot? Yeah, I'm, I'm barefoot right yeah, now. Sure, yeah. yeah. I won't. I hate what? feet. <laughs> I know why you won't. Though. <laughs> no, my feet don't smell bad. My no, feet no, look no, fine. No, 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 that's nothing to do. No, with no, that. my feet also look fine. No, no, it's because of that one video you have on your Instagram page. No, you know, that was a different story. You I got a split. You got. I'm sure it was Listen, the biggest. Listen, how fucking great too. that video looked. Though. <laughs> I tell you what, slow motion. Ah, fucking yeah, but splitter. that's a great. That's, I feel like that's a great ending to a video. You know, it's got, it's got, it's like a, it's, it's like an action movie. It was before TikTok. Uh, I, uh, yeah, but I think it was wasn't before Vine. I think Vine was okay. the time before, which which TikTok is basically right. Vine. Now. Yeah, but like anyway, but uh, <laughs> no, that's not why. I just I hate feet, man. I just can't stand them. Uh, I always wear shoes. I wear running shoes everywhere I go. Right. I, I don't really wear flip flops out of the house. I can't just for I've got orthopedic. Oh, could, well, problems. that because you have fucking giant feet. Good luck finding wow. flip flops. You might as well just put little. <laughs> you might as well just walk barefoot. You might as well walk barefoot. Yeah, Fred uh, Flintstone over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wait! Oh shit! Does that what? make me Barney? Yeah, it would be Barney. Hey, Barn. You know what? That's okay. I'm That's okay. With that. Although you know what? Barney has a hot wife too. <sighs> Not in the movie. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Rosie Not in the fucking movie, man. <laughs> no cast? offense. No offense if you find Rosie O'Donnell pretty. Who's the casting agent and shit like that? Like, come on. You know what? Everybody else is fine but her. <sighs> Everybody else is fine but her. John John Goodman is Fred. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Rick Moranis wh- is Barney. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Wait. Yeah. No, it was, what is it one of the bald ones? It was Rick Moranis was Barney. Want to put a fiver on this? Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, no. You, you answered that too quick. I know. I know my odds. Whenever I try to put a, I'm like, want to put a fiver, and they're like, yeah, right away. Yeah, I'm like, nah, it's not worth it. Although there was the sequel where everyone changed, even John Goodman. Yeah. And, oh, and Ryan, was, that's Ryan. the one I'm thinking of. Wait, was, was but Rosie O'Donnell stayed? Probably. Yeah. She needed the money, or the coosh balls, or whatever the fuck she was doing. Doesn't she have like a nut farm now? No, that's Roseanne Barr. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I think we have enough farm. They look the same. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, thanks for joining our. Is nut that farm. our crowd? The that's nut farms. Our, yeah. <laughs> if you watch or listen to this show, you are a nut farm. That's what we're calling our fans now. The nut farm. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want Barney's wife. No. 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 I'm dating a redhead, so I guess I gotta be Fred. You gotta be Fred. Yeah. Whatever. Right, come on. Listen, I can just be Barney. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know what? I'll be Bam Bam because he's fucking devils, right? 
<laughs> yeah, sure. There you they go. must be all grown up. Yeah, now. you're a baby. They're all grown up. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, you know that was a primetime cartoon when it came out. Uh, like it was geared towards adults, not like was kids. it? Yeah. Do you know the? Do you know the? Uh, maybe we talked about this. Fuck, you know it's hard to keep track of what we talk about. Uh, that's fun. okay because we talked. Also, shit I got like shit time. for brains. Anyway, that's okay. do you know? Uh, <laughs> this is not going well. Do you know? <laughs> I think it's actually. You know what? I think it's going great. That's going great. Do you know the theory about Flint, the Flintstones? Have you heard anything about it? Okay, I know the origin was because it was based on the Honeymooners. Straight to the moon, Alice. No. <laughs> yeah. So it was what? A, what a catch line right. about fucking punching your wife to the moon. Oh, yeah. Fuck uh, me. What about Archie? He's a fucking racist. Yeah, that was that was after. But uh, so honeymooners was the first, and it was live. Mm. And Jackie Gleason, who played Ralph Cramlin, yes. never rehearsed. That sounds never right. rehearsed. Was he a drunk too? He's probably a drunk. Oh fuck yeah! I Aren't we all, buddy? Right? Cheers. Um, Cheers, Jackie. Basically, would come up and just nail it every time, and. uh so the basis of that was, you know, you had Ra- Ralph, his friend Ed Norton, who worked for the city, sewer guy, his wife, Alice, and then uh, Ed Norton's wife, Trixie. <laughs> right? It just sounded like he did. In my, in, my, <laughs> in my mind, I just heard that you saying <laughs> that with the Jetsons tone. Yeah, it kind his of all molded. Boy, it, it, it kind of, um, yeah. it, it all kind of yeah, molded yeah. together. But that was the basis of a couple in the 50s. Okay. He was a bus driver, so they both worked for the city. The wives stayed home. I mean, black and white, but the girl that played Alice, and the, and the name escapes me right now. Sure, because it was 40 fucking Gorgeous. years ago. Gorgeous. By Guess TV what? standards. Alice is dead. I know. Hey, Alice I know. <laughs> I bet you Alice is then, dead. Or Alice is fucking 106. <laughs> she's, yeah. she's 116 years but old. She was very attractive. Mm. And the standard was, was you know, Ralph wasn't the good looking one. But he had a hot wife. Right. And yeah. I kind of, that kind of like spread out around tv them. As it grew out, as okay. you see, you know, I dream of Jeannie. Um, Wait, the general was a good looking dude? Uh, they, they they had to replace the actor at one point, too. Right? For a reason? Uh, different. They fired him. Yeah, whatever. Died. We AIDS, don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. Right? Don't pretend you knew. We don't <laughs> no, know. No. Just, I don't know. Like, and when then, you ask me, I'm like, I don't know. But even Gilligan's Island. You know what I mean? You had a different dichotomy of True. the guys, the main characters. Well, it's not like the skipper ever got anybody. No. Yeah. Well, either did Gilligan at that point, either. But he probably did. They all had the, the those little elements that made television viewing that mm-hmm. built upon it. Mm-hmm. So Flintstone comes in; it's a prime time cartoon. Okay. They base it off the Honeymooners. Wild, right? Okay. So basically, Ralph and Fred, Fred Flintstone are the same kind of person. Where my home is my castle; I can never go wrong. Well, I'm, the man, I'm the man of the house, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm the man. And, of the, and cave. the woman always kind of like. Does something to make him look foolish at the end, and then they realize that the only thing that they have that's a certainty is the love that they have, which Aww. you know it's endearing, right? And then somehow it changes as it gets like past the Brady Bunch. Okay, you know the Brady Bunch is the kind of same thing. They're all so mushy, you think the Brady loving Bunch family shocked the world into. No, I think it was more the, the, the like you said, the all in the family, where now you got a broken man who sees the world changing around him. Mm. He doesn't like the changes. He yeah. doesn't want the changes. Yeah. If he's, he's fought long and hard to keep where he's at yeah. to where he is, so the changes are are brutal to him. Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden, as that's developing, it's doing spinoffs of the Jeffersons. Yep. Right? So now it's an all-black family doing the same thing. So the staples were always the same. There was always, like, the formula in Hollywood. Well, it's just the uh, studio show. Yeah, you know, this is what same. makes it... This is what sells us, so they keep doing that. Sure. And then, as you get towards the 80s, yep. right, you have... Although the later 80s. Well, I mean, the early 80s was kind of the swingers. So you got the Three's Company, who kind of totally changed everything. You see the swingers? Yeah, one guy with two girls. Yeah. And he has to pretend he's gay in order to stay living with them. I don't think I ever watched that show, man. Oh, I, grew I, up didn't, know, I didn't know he had to pretend to be gay. Oh, yeah. I and there's a, there's a lot of like references where he's trying to be gay. Did it work? And I think, <laughs> prove I? me wrong, I, I, I remember it being a kid, so this is where it goes back. The uh. Three's Company had a, a spinoff called Three's a Crowd. Where Jack Tripper owns his own restaurant. Okay. And he has a guy that works for him. And I think it's the guy that plays Patrick Starr in SpongeBob. The, oh, oh, right? Uh, the guy from Coach. Yes. Uh, the he's, he's assistant one the, coach. Yeah, he's the sous chef. Don't ask me his name. And I think he says cunt on TV because he, like, he plays like a surfer dude. So oh. he screws up this one meal and he goes, oh, cunt. 
And this is Theresa Crown? Yeah, the, this was like 83, 84. Was he supposed to be like a British dude? No, he's no, no, he didn't, no, but it was just like, I guess, they it, say it. I guess yeah, it was yeah. a surfer term he tried to turn into. Again, I could have said it her But it was wrong. live? Well, not live. Well, it they could have, should have cut that out. I don't think, should have. I don't think they knew what he was saying and Scotch kept it in. I can't even discuss him. Right? Like, and then, is. so then you had that little yeah. twist of things. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was just to reflect the times of the 70s and 80s where everyone was just Studio 54, everyone's fucking everybody. Whatever, right? Ah, the good old days. <laughs> right? I think that's what they right. called it. They were like, ah, oh, the 80s. The good yeah. old days. And then the late 80s. Well, then you had the like, mid 80s was the who's the boss, right? Listen, let me just clarify right. for one right. second. Right. Let me just stop you and then you can continue on. Sure. Tony Danza wasn't the boss, it was Samantha. We all knew. Yeah, of right? course. Okay, just want to throw it oh, out Angela, there. Angela, you mean? Yeah, I mean, Angela. You Samantha mean. was the daughter. Nice. But we all grew up hey. with her. She could be right. my boss. <laughs> I worked with her once. Did you? Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. But she was much older. Not as yeah. well, Samantha. Still. Okay, carry on. Who's okay, the boss? So then you have that where you now you're changing the role of what the man's supposed to be doing. Right. In the sense of TV world. Okay. Right? He, he's a father, but he's also the housekeeper for the business woman. That's right. You know, and then at that point, there's the Murphy Browns. There's all these things that are like designing women. So the women are becoming more of a powerhouse. And then... Late 80s, in the 90s, you've got that I don't want to change attitude. Mm-hmm. Women aren't aren't that powerful or special. And you have the married with children. I love that. Right? We have Al Bundy trying to stand his ground. The and, no man group. <laughs> right? Knocking women. I love right? that show, man. And then you had also in between that, you had the Cosbys. Great show. Right? For better or worse, for we're talking shows. Listen, we're ta- regardless we're talking of shows, the yeah. shit he, not the person, but the show was great. The show was great. Family values was amazing. Oh, amazing. I still remember some of the lessons he was teaching. Family values, Steve Urkel. Right? Yeah, that too. Values. Is that family values? That was family matters. Yeah. Oh, family matters. Yeah. What's family values then? No, it's teaching family values. Oh, I right? thought that was the name of the but show. But then you had the full house, right? So same thing. Right. Now you had no women. Well, the, kid, the, the, the kids. Yeah, but I'm just saying no women. No, well, I mean Jesse. Yeah, yeah. Jesse's a <laughs> the uncle and aunt what type thing, name? the girlfriend. Rebecca? Yeah. I uh, nailed it. And then. Fucking uh, nailed it. <laughs> um, so that kind of changed it again, too. Mm-hmm. And then you had Roseanne, who kind of like just threw everything out there, said, we're not the Cosbys. You know, we're a working class. We're trying to be the middle class Middle America, the one that no one notices, <laughs> and shit happens in real life that no one really talks about, and she changed the whole thing around because it was they were both working. Yep, they both saw the world in different ways, but they still loved each other. Didn't really give a shit what the kids were doing. Those were like too the, busy. that show was more realistic, <laughs> completely than, than than any other show because there was like, you know, the husband came home, just drank beer, watched TV. Yeah, you know, and he was a slob. Yeah. And she went to work. I don't know where the fuck she Diner, did. and she was doing she diner stuff. Diner? Why yeah. I thought she was a truck driver? <laughs> <laughs> or like a dispatcher. Felt like one. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't say it. Um, but <laughs> for some reason, uh, it must have been all the plaid. Right. Uh, anyway, I, I, so like they both had jobs, and the kids were shitheads. Yeah. Yeah. And like they weren't like the perfect children. And like they didn't the get into trouble because they... Made a mistake, mom and dad. Right, like right. I, I, I tried marijuana for the first time. Yeah, it's like, oh, they were all, up, right? they were all really and fucking they had asshole and Yeah, like they were that, all yeah. really asshole fucking kids. And like the like yeah. fucking derelict aunt used to come over, and right. she was like always getting divorced. Yeah, like, why are you getting married in the first place? But she's always getting divorced, yeah. and like she was just always there. And she was a cop, and she was like this, and you're like, yeah. you know that family. Yeah, everybody knows that family. And, it, uh, and I find like that kind of changed it a bit in the fact that. She, Roseanne was purposely t- changing things up for you to realize that things aren't changing in America. Mm-hmm. You know, this is, we're, we're breaking that bubble. And yeah. even like presenting a le- the first lesbian kiss on TV was on Roseanne. Roseanne. Yeah. It was Madonna Ooh. and uh, uh, Sandra Bernhardt, the 70s comedian. You know her to see her. Model, comedian, actress. We had a cricket button in there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know her to see her. Bernard. She, she's, Bernhard. she's. Okay, whatever. Yeah, New York attractive. Let's just say that. But regardless, she drives a truck. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. But that no, was I'm the sorry. first thing to turn uh, it, and they go, okay, "Oh wait, cool. you know the most controversial at Roseanne ever." So even that, it was trying to twist it as like. What's going on here? And then you, you know, then you saw different sitcoms to, for, towards families. I mean, I know I'm skipping the the Cheers, the Frasers, all That's the other okay. stuff, but I'm talking about like family value shows. Mm-hmm. And then you went brought it back to like Home Improvement. 
Yeah. Right? Whereas the, the man yeah, right. of the house building stuff, but never really I doing loved, things. I loved, I loved Home Improvement, man. Right? I fucking loved it. I it lo- Tim the Two Man Taylor. <laughs> yeah, and Al. Yeah, whatever. Right? Uh, but I loved that show yeah. so much. He the was neighbor. like, how did he have a show? He was such a klutz. Right? Oh, fucking Mr. Wilson. Yeah, loved Mr. That. Wilson. You never saw, I think you saw his face once. Yeah, I think towards the end. That yeah. Was it. And, yeah. And then even. Uh, what was uh, Corey and Topanga? What was that show again? The f- uh, oh, this boy's life. Uh, Our boy's Boy Meets World. World. Boy Meets World. See, I never watched that. That was more uh, of the younger I mean, kind of me. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, younger, um, like ten years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a decade. Um, I I loved Boy, Me- Boy Meets World because I loved Topanga. Yeah, and I loved uh, Kelly Kapowski. Who, who, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, Kelly, Saved by the Bell. Get out of here. Okay, your crushes for your TV crushes. I just told you. Just those two. Yeah, Kelly Kapowski. And, okay. Yeah, okay. that was my life. Okay. I'd give it all. All right. I'm going to say. Still. Topanga. Alyssa Milano. What's up? Because we watched her grow up. They were the I, same yeah, age, my, right? I worked with her. We watched her when she bought the bra and she wanted the bra with the pink bow. So we all kind of like grew up watching her grow up. Yeah. Um, Drew Barrymore for a time, too. Okay, fair. Right? I saw E.T. was the first live action movie I saw in yeah. the theater, right? And then, yeah, you know, when, she, when she's yeah. older. Let's talk about her Phoebe old. Cates. No oh, crickets. <laughs> no, wow. Okay, <laughs> fast time reached out Mount High. Yeah, but I, you know, uh, Susanna Haas from the Bangles. Oh, dynamite. No, she's really that's what difference ten years makes. Who's with me? <laughs> if you're watching this, comment um, something on this. Kelly Bundy, me. just because, oh, yeah, obvious, right? Obvious. Just because. Come on. Right. Fuck. I think it was the attitude too. She just didn't give. No, she a was shit. hot as fuck, yeah. man. Yeah. God, get the fuck. Come on. <laughs> Pam Anderson, she was in everything in the 80s, yeah. too. Right? Yeah, remember that home video? Yeah. <laughs> she was on a boat. The boat? <laughs> can you find that still? Because I, I don't can't know. find it. Anyway. Maybe they pulled get, it. Like, they made the money. As a, it. I think you get where, Where's she now? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe a judge on a TV show of some sort? Oh, isn't it weird that she kind of just. She was in everything. She was the it girl. Yeah, remember Barbed Wire? Yeah. <laughs> that show, that shouldn't happen. Barbed Wire, there was. What else? That was it. Baywatch. Baywatch, <laughs> yeah, Baywatch was big. But then after Home Baywatch. Improvement, she was on Married to Children in a couple episodes. Yeah. Right? I guess, yeah. It's just, yeah. Elizabeth just, Hurley, though. Remember Elizabeth Hurley? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we gotta get off this topic. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta fucking party tonight. Um, let's... Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright. Um, okay, so I want to talk about that. Okay, I want to talk about the COVID thing. We're talking about the okay. show. Okay, no, but when we started this whole thing, yes, like, this whole team, memory, Yes. Flintstones, Yes. the working theory is... Okay. It's not in the past. Okay. It's in the future. Afghanistan? No, no, no. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. No. It's just like, it's just because they have, they have cash. They had currency. Right. They had a okay. thing. And they, they weren't, they weren't trading with like. But they were trading with rocks, weren't no, they? No. It was dollars. Oh, yeah. They had green, they had green backs they too. They had green backs. Yeah. They, and they had cars. And they had, well, <laughs> ish. But the thing is, is like the, the Jetsons is actually. Uh, in the past, and the Flintstones is the future because it's something happened. Whatever, blah, 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 like yeah, a shift. Or because whatever. you know when the, the Jetsons ended up at the Flintstones, they're saying that they went to the past, right? Remember that? Sh- yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. But what actually little happened little is little they went to the future. Okay, and that's the theory. That's really trippy. So it took a long time for me to say that thirty second theory because <laughs> we went all the way around it. Did you know that we're uh, back, baby? Did you know that if you time <laughs> the second line roar of the MGM logo, yeah, of Wizard of Oz, okay. You push play on the dark side of the moon, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. It times out to the whole movie. Like the entire Pink Floyd album is a, a fucking hour. You have to play it a couple times. Yeah. But it matches. You sync it up to the second liar roar. I'm going to tell you something right now. Okay. I'm not going to fucking do that. It's fine. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's I'm trippy. not a huge Pink Floyd fan. It's again I, 10 I, years. No, you know what? I'm not either. But I at just, the same I time, think I want to. With I, I don't, I, listen, this might ruffle some feathers. No, it does. It's I'm like going to ruffle some feathers right here. I don't like Pink Floyd. Who is your 70s band, if you had to say? Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Yeah, 70s, 60s, 70s. 70s. I, I'll give you that. Like that. Classic rock. Okay, let's go classic rock, man. I like, uh, yeah, Creedence Clearwater. Uh, okay. I like, uh, like, Joan Jett. Is she 80s? Yeah, so, the 80, more 80s, yeah. I mean, um, she did the thing with the... Uh, I look at my Spotify. I got some shit tonight. The idea? I got some shit. I, I, don't get me on the top. I, I, I like the Stones. Okay. Uh, I think the Beatles were okay. Uh, like okay. I, I like they were great, like great musicians. They of wrote course, some great of songs. Course. But uh, ask, am I on the? 
Am I on the uh, Am I on the like the Beatlemania? No, no. Although I wasn't either until I saw them live. I saw the live show at uh, Mirage, the Cirque du Soleil show. Oh, you were there live. The, Be- in well, the, the Beatles 60s? live. You were there in the sixties. No, I know. I want to say <laughs> I was because it felt like I was. But the Beatles love show Cirque du Soleil um, was amazing. Oh, I like Tom Petty. Tom, Tom, well, Tom Petty, yeah, seventies, eighties. Uh, we're looking at here. Queens Clearwater. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Where are all these fucking? How about Zeppelin? I like Zeppelin. Okay. My dad is like a. Yeah. A, you know what though? Like I love uh, Billy Joel. I love so. Billy Joel. I yeah, like yeah, I love yeah, Genesis. I, I like yeah, Genesis I like uh, f- uh, Phil Collins. Like I like that type of music. You like too. the Peter Gabriel Genesis or Phil Collins Genesis? Uh, Phil Collins all the way. Yeah. Peter Gabriel could suck a dick. <laughs> no, no, he's a great musician. He's fantastic. He's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> he can suck a dick. No, I don't mean it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what kind of music. Um, but uh, no, I like I like you know right. I, I like Ozzy. You know, like yeah. I love Ozzy's music. I love that, um, that solo I showed you. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Right? How amazing is so that? So good. And Again, and something was off. You're convinced something's off. Something's off with the timing of the sound and the fingers on the guitar. Not that I'm saying anything. Right. I don't want to go. I'm not going to. Maybe use it. a different technique, but uh, that song. Don't get don't get Scotch Vinny going because I'm going to go off. <laughs> um, no, you know what? I don't know, man. You know what? Someone told me yesterday that I had bad taste in music uh, because I said I'd liked uh, Third Eye Blind. Okay. I said that I, I saw a concert with Third Eye Blind and Dashboard Confessional. Okay. And they said I had bad taste in music. I'm like, I like all music. It's, 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 I hate the, like, I don't discriminate. Like, I'm not going to not listen to this. I, if okay. I like a song, I like right. a song. I right. mean, exactly. Yeah. I've been to death metal shows. Right. I've been to country music festivals. Right. I've been to ED, like, uh, you know, dance yeah, concerts, EDM. EDM. Yeah, yeah. I've been to, you know, I go to clubs where they do dance hall, yeah, and I, you know, I, I've, you know, I've gone to see rap and right. hard rock and whatever. Yeah, I don't have a type of music I listen to. I listen and to that's not wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. But to be told that I had bad taste in music right. kind of really pissed me off. I get it because I don't have. I, I sorry. Someone so you only like your type of music, right. which whatever the fuck it is, right. punk or whatever the hell you're listening right. to, and anybody else who listens to anything that's not right. that has bad taste in music, you're a fucking asshole. Well, I asked my friend Doug this, too, who's a drummer. He's my best friend, and I've mentioned him a couple of times before. What What's really wrong with Nickelback? No, 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 no. Think about, think about okay. that, though. As, as a musician, uh, as a band n- that plays their I music. I like three songs of Nickelback, okay? okay? And there's I, nothing wrong with them. But I just did not what, for me. But what's the stigma that everyone hates them? Because I, I uh, want to say I would I would listen maybe to maybe it's because they're they're I'm not gonna say that word but I would listen to a, 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 a heavier riff from Nickelback than I would a slower song from let's say Tragically Hip both Canadian uh, I bands I think there's just there's the types I think it's I think it's a lot with Canadian bands also I feel. oh yeah, well you know what there was a theory of dead man they were like the American Toad Nickelback. what the fuck's Toad theory of a dead man oh is that what they call themselves no that's what I call them Toad <laughs> Toad oh Toad theory. Okay, God, gotcha. check it out. <laughs> I don't know. If, I thought there was an H in there. Um, <laughs> Scotch. God damn. Never again. Uh, oh, I got a funny story. Just finish here. Okay. So. Uh, it's just there's like a stigma. Yeah. With for some Nickelback because stu- they're always played. Maybe up here. I don't know. They were just big and then they weren't. And then he had like long hair and then he had a fucking mom. Fucking. Metallica. Lesbian. He had like a lesbian mom yeah, but look. No, that doesn't mean about the music. Maybe it did. I don't right. know. Anyway, there's like a stigma with Nickelback and my buddy uh, Lorenzo. He'll even admit that I always make fun of him because he's a big Nickelback fan. Okay. And it's like good, I, I don't you know I just joke around because I know it pisses him off. Because <laughs> he went, he's like, "Yo, oh, let's go get tickets to Nickelback," and I'm like, "I'd rather have somebody <laughs> knee me in the balls four times <laughs> than go to a Nickelback." No, um, <clears throat> it's just them. Tragically, hip is like you love or hate him. Yeah. You love or hate him, yeah. You know, like uh, the Arkells, for example. Right. You, you. I think you like that. You love him or you hate him. Right. And some people are just like, oh, I know why they're famous because they make like well, right. they're not like super famous. They're not worldwide. Yeah. They're, I'd say they're they're huge in Canada. Right. Which is they're one of the biggest bands in Canada right, right now. Uh, but they're not like American famous, whatever. But you love or hate him, and then some people are like, oh, you, I know that I listen to their songs. Like yeah. they're catchy and they write songs to be famous. Like they're not writing right. songs to whatever. Right. There's, there's a lot of stigmas around certain music, and that's fine. But it's also like what you like, yeah. and don't when you don't. Well, the way I see it is even with, uh, okay, we're Canadian, so we have the CanCon, which has got to be minimum like 38% Canadian content per hour on the radio. Okay. So, you know, you, you, I know every Tragic Hip song that's out there because I heard it on the radio, not mm-hmm. because I have the albums. I never discovered them on my own. I was force-fed them. Correct. Okay. Not as much as you were force-fed U2 that time. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First but, ever hacking onto yeah, your phone but, was from U2. the whole thing with... Listening to, to 
Tragic Hip. I got it. I understood it. Yes, it's Canadian. Okay, cool. I can I can see why people like it. Of course. But then you see it live, and everyone wants to go to the live shows. Mm-hmm. But now everyone's singing over top of the band. I'm like, okay, I get it. We all know what the words are. Yeah. So who's the real fan? Who actually? Wait, like, you don't go and sing at a concert? Uh, it depends. Not to the point where I can't hear the band. Oh, I fucking do it. I don't care. But I just hate the fact that where everyone's going. Are you a fan because someone said, here, listen to this band, they're awesome? Or because we've just been indoctrined by it? But at the same token, think of think of Hotel California. And that's a worldwide song. It's an American song by the Eagles from 74, 76. Okay. Right? Yeah. Everyone knows that song, too. Yeah, because it's probably on, like... It's everywhere as well. well what, it, was, it had to have been, like, a commercial? No. Or a, a, a movie? No. It was just so. Like it, it had played. to have been like, it, like holiday. You know that song like Holiday Road. Yeah. Uh, yeah it yeah. was in like a national vacation. Yeah, vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows that song because of that movie. I think. Yes, but the Hotel California stands on its own because get yeah, it, it is a classic from the get go. Sure. Okay. Great song. The the yeah. the lyrics are fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Takes you to a dark place. Takes you to like a bright place. Very different harmon- harmonies to what the content of the music of is. Um, t- gives you a time and place of where they were at the time too. Yep. Um, iconic song. Totally. 100% same, same with uh, same with um, the day the music died. Yep. Okay. Everyone knows those songs, but what makes you love a song? Like, I mean, I could listen to Hotel California right now, and I can listen to let's say Blow It High Dough from Tragically Hip. But there's also, you know what though? I I really like uh, that song Hotel California. But if it's on. And it's like on my like shuffle on my yeah. Spotify or something. I'm a I'm probably gonna skip it. You're gonna skip it because you, you, you because you've heard it a thousand times, and it's a, you you have your moods also. Of you know, course. there's the moods course. where like you're listening to this playlist, and you're like, okay, you know, Foo Fighters, I'll listen. Right. Next could be like Nine Inch Nails. You're like, I'll listen to it. Yeah. And then it's like you know a Nirvana song. And you're like, I'm not in the mood for Nirvana today, and you just click past. It. Like everybody has that. You have the moods of you know you're driving. If you're in traffic, if you're driving fast, yeah. if you're driving slow, or you're stuck in something. You want something angry. Right. You want something. Right. It's a mood thing. Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, don't definitely, fucking tell me definitely. I got bad taste in music. That's all I'm trying to say. L- listen, we all we've all done the show where I I remember seeing Billy Idol as j- on a whim. Yeah, because there was a studio Pier Twenty Eight, which was on Queens Key, where George Brown College is now, Sugar Beach. Right. The, yep. And the cool house was right across the street. I got kicked out of the cool house. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Billy Idol was there. Scalpers were there. People were lined up. I'm like, well, fuck. It's Friday night. Yeah. Like it is as beautiful as it is out oh, there yeah. right now. I got no, I got no plans. So I pet, pay, pay, paid eighty bucks from a scalper. Went by yourself. Got in. Went by myself. Perfect. Blew my fucking mind away. I was like, yeah. I couldn't believe how many songs how many, I didn't know. Oh really? I was gonna say how many Billy Idol songs? All did you of know? them. Like everything he played. You're like, yeah. I, oh like, shit. Like I feel shit. like I know like four. White songs. Wedding. Yeah. Rebel Yell. Yes. Um, Cradle, Cradle of Love. Is maybe. maybe maybe I only know two songs, right. <laughs> but there's there's a few. As soon as you yeah, start yeah. playing them, you're like, okay, oh, yeah, shit, of yeah, course yeah. I know that song. I know that song. And the performance, and he's engaging everyone on that stage. Of course, like, he's a fucking punk. He's head, looking he's at you good. in the head and, and, and like giving you the thorns yeah, yeah. and everything, just in the end moment, spitting in your eyes. He's, but no, like he's, he's been, <laughs> but he's taking your bottle, signing it, and while giving he's it back. Yeah, while he's oh, singing, just dope, amazing. Right? Just I like that. So cool, and then telling stories in between songs too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and how can you not be a Best fan of that? You probably and how can you be not a fan of that? I love that. Right? Listen, the performance is way more important to me than the of course. So I had the reverse thing happen to me. Uh, okay. Not like I wasn't like, hey, this is terrible. But like, you know, you like, you went there and you're like, I'm so surprised at how many songs I knew. Okay. Remember I told you I went to a country festival? Okay, yeah. It was yeah, a yeah. Willie Nelson thing. <laughs> right. So, you know, everybody knows Willie Nelson. Uh-huh. He's internationally known. Everybody's like, Willie Nelson. Yeah, okay, he's a big pothead. And that's one of the main reasons. But you're like, oh, Willie, country music. Country music is Willie Nelson. Yep. I think I knew two songs. Really? And I don't even remember them now. I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> it was two songs. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Then he played another one. I'm like, oh, yeah. Play, oh, I and I was like, oh, I know that one. And yeah. I was like, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? I also said after, I'm like, I don't know why I'm here. It's funny. I, there's times like, um, what was the 40 Licks tour, the Rolling Stones? Mm-hmm. It was 2002. I took my mom. So this is nice. the, this is my third incarnation of seeing them. Nice. So her first. Ever, oh, awesome. Right? So I take her. Was that, is that a, in the Barry? No, it was at ACC. Oh, nice. So okay. 40 Licks. So that tour was because it was the 40th anniversary. Mm-hmm. They were playing um, concert halls, yep. arenas, and theaters. Cool. Or arenas and stadiums. All right. So they played the Royal... Um, the Royal Exit. Royal Palais. Palais, Palais Royal. Royal. 
That's that a was, great venue. That was a That's f- small. It was a free secret free concert. That's a small place, man. That was have a, you been in there? No. Well, yeah, I have for a show, but yeah, not too, for a concert. Too. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful um, in there. They played that as a secret small venue. Then they did the ACC. Then they did the Sky Dome. So we went to the ACC show, and yeah. each each lineup was a little bit different. So if you were the more like smaller club, yeah, they played the more intimate, older songs, the Sweet. stuff that they don't always play. Not not the heavy rockers, yeah, yeah, yeah. but stuff you're like, oh my god, the deep tracks. Let's say. Dope. And then the arena stage, the ACC, they played a little bit in between both. Okay. I mean, as they should. Right? And there are some songs I was like, okay, I've seen them already. This is the third time I've seen them. There's some songs I really want to see. I still haven't seen yet. Of course. And they play the one that I haven't heard before. Oh, amazing. Which was Can't You Hear Me Knocking from uh, Sticky Fingers. It's, uh, the, it's the song that's in. I don't know why I went to that song. Like, you know, knock three times. No. <laughs> like, no. That was them? No, no. No, no. Um, okay, Can't Hear Me fine. Knocking. It's in Casino. It's the whole scene okay, cool, with cool, Nicky cool. Santera. Ah, uh, yeah. Right? Okay, and okay. it just... Fucking amazing. And the minute they kick it in and I'm just going nuts. And mom's like, what? I'm like, the song. (laughs) Because it was different. And then after that, they go into Midnight Rambler, which is another slow jam, deep, deep blues rocker from the 60s. I think my favorite Rolling Stone song is, uh, uh, was it Red, Black Door? Red Door? What's it called? I want to, I have a red door and I want to. Oh, Painted Black. black. Painted Black. That's Yeah. Story of Echoes. You watch that movie? Anyway. um, Have you ever drank at the, at the Stones place? No, and, and it's it, shut down it, now. Shut down. I think I, I I've drunk, I've I've partied there a couple right. times, oh. and uh, my band played as a gig there once. Really? Yeah, cool. there was like a small little stage. We played a gig there once. It was fucking phenomenal, man. It's I, a cool bar. I think the best experience I've had in something that's kind of like a theme thing like that um, is at the Hard Rock Casino in Vegas. Yeah. So as you walk in, there's like different outfits, different memorabilia from yeah. every performer you can think of like princess outfit from the grammys yeah blah 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 or purple rain right he's got a little do you, boots do you think <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you think in those hard rock hard rock cafes that they're actually real memorabilia or or well they, this is the casino okay. so i want to no, say yes well whatever it is right or do you think it's just replica um no because it was actually there's actually plaques to say from which date in which sure, sure and there's sure. videos so that you, you see. could never i mean make a plaque Listen, it may not be what they were wearing. It might be a secondary costume well, because they want to keep it. About. Sure. Because we know in the business, too, a hero's prop could be this pen. Yeah. Okay? And they, at the end of the show, they want to tell you. Like, Can I have this? So you're think, not going to say no because Prince, you got five Prince's others. fucking basement, other than ping pong tables, because you all know he played ping pong. <laughs> the pancake like, makers. The pancake makers and a basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the darkness. Um, do you think he's just got like a, like a fucking giant... Walk-in closet of all his wardrobe down there. Would you keep all your fucking wardrobe? If you, I would just be like, next, get rid of it. You know, you're never gonna wear the purple outfit again. No, I mean, you wear other purple things. I just, I have it like so. But I w- not the purple rain with the feathers no, and no, shit no. like that. Like right? You've done it. Yeah. That was the tour. Yeah. Did you? But well, he probably kept that one. Did you? Have you gone to the Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll, roll in Cleveland? Cleveland? No, okay. I want. So I went. Okay. I went down like uh, to watch a uh, baseball game, and so okay. I went. Yeah, to, that's what I think. That's what I would want to do. Yeah. So then when we were there, yeah. there's really nothing else in the city. What's the team again? I'm not. I'm not at liberty <laughs> to say. It's Cleveland Indians. Uh, Indians. Yes. Uh, I uh, we went to the game, and there's really fuck all to do in that city. There's yeah. more bail bonds than really? anything else. So we went really? through this mall, which they okay. call the Galleria. Okay. Which we have a gallery in Toronto anyway. Right. And we walked through. It was like, I'm like, is this mall open? Really? It looked abandoned. <sighs> and then there was like two bail bonds in the mall. And I'm like, where the fuck are we? Can we get the fuck? Let's just go to, like, we were yeah. going to go to White Castle, blah, blah. Right. Because so, yeah, yeah. the old Harold and Kumar thing. Remember when that was popular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, we're old. Shot in Toronto. It was like yeah. 2002 or something? Yeah, White Castle in Staten Island, but it's shot here. And we don't even have one. Uh, it's for the best. It's you know what? Not good. You know what? When someone when we were in the it it's ca- all bun, <laughs> no, no we were, burger. We were we were in a cab in Vegas, and the White Castle came up in Vegas. So I mm-hmm. mentioned, oh, they got White Castle now. The cab driver goes, yeah, if you like silverfish meat. As soon as he said that, I've never had a burger from there, and I don't think I will. Silverfish meat. It's silverfish, you know, like the little roach like, things there in your bathrooms with the little bugs. If no, that was turned into meat. What the fuck's a silverfish? <laughs> I don't want to. It's, if Listen, that was turned remember into I said meat, I'm not that was your burger, right? <laughs> it, it wasn't great. It was like, it's all, like, you get, like, you know, we ordered, like, a combo. It was like. Oh, you didn't do the suitcase? No, I couldn't do it. That's so gross. I know. I mean, it's, just, it's again, it's like it's like six loaves of bread in that suitcase. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, no, no meat. So we ordered, like, it was like, I don't know, 12 burgers. Right. Like, 
two curly fries, two onion rings, yeah, 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 yeah. A, a fucking giant pop. You know, of whatever. course the pop is the biggest thing. And in so the thing that was game. like I don't know three bucks, and because uh, so, it's cheap, it's dirt cheap. And, and and it was it was like we just sat there and we ate it all and it was like this is why the fuck is this big thing man <laughs> like you got nothing out of it you're just eating bread just yeah. go to the fucking grocery store and get a loaf of bread and get a fucking slab of bologna and throw it in there make your own burgers like uh, again like what's the appeal of like I, don't that? Know, I ate a burger today for lunch and I'm fucking bloated every oh, yeah. time I eat burgers I'm, I don't think they're I don't know what they're using in burgers these days I don't know what or what yeah, I don't know what yeah. these cows are doing yeah well what entire nation is these cows doing <laughs> uh, uh, no but. Uh, Oh, fucking, it wasn't great. Anyway, so the, okay. back to the Rock and Hall of Fame, though, yeah, real quick, yeah, yeah. and how yeah. shitty Cleveland is. Yeah. It's a fucking terrible city. And uh, I'll tell Steve, Browns fan, <laughs> don't fucking go there, buddy. Just fucking, Steve, don't fucking go there, dude. So just watch it on TV. You're better off. Mainly because the Browns suck. The, there's they a suck, Brown, but. There's a Brown supporter bar on Dundas called uh, Shocks. We were there for the show that I was just on. Shocks uh, Pool Hall? Yes. That's a Brown supporter? Yeah. It so would, I, I promise Steve would take. I would not assume that. Uh, I've been in there many it's, times. It's awesome. They they have the whole. Wait, back. at Dundas and Keel? Yeah, they I the, didn't fucking know that. I've been to that bar so many the times. The back of the bar, so you know where the main bar is when you walk in, and there's yeah, an it's, upper it's, level. It's probably just dark in there, so it's, nobody knows yeah, anyway. But it's, 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 <laughs> I, I showed the pictures. Steve's into it. I go, yeah, I'll. Take All right, I mean, I'll go when yeah. they open. I'll go yeah. with you guys. Yeah, sure. And I'll, I'll tell Steve in person how shit the fucking city of Cleveland is. No wonder. I know why LeBron left. Oh, oh! Did you think LeBron was gonna stay and hang out in Cleveland instead of L.A.? Yeah, right. <laughs> instead yeah. of a fucking glorious coastal fucking line with the ocean and all the beautiful people. Yeah. Let's hang out. Oh, oh! Why did Bro- LeBron snow. leave Cleveland? <laughs> yeah, the mistake on the lake versus. There's nothing there. <laughs> there's nothing in Cleveland. It's honestly there's this the stadiums a little bit farther down. And then beside the football field, because I, I went to see it because yeah, right. he's walking, whatever. It's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. And the football field is right beside each other. Yeah. And it's like, so I, I went to the Rock Hall of Fame and then walked over and took a look yeah. at it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Right. Th- okay. Do you think, I don't know, I don't know, like, you like museums and shit like that? Yeah, I mean, I would go. I like I'd me- definitely go on a heartbeat. So I went. You can't take pictures. Right. You're not allowed. Right. The security guard catches you, you have to delete them or some of bullshit. Because they say it's bad for the. Fabric. You know why? Because no, why else would you go to Cleveland if you, everything's <laughs> on the... That's what I was like. Oh, so, okay, why do I have to go? I no, see no listen, online. story checks out. Like, right. I get it. You don't want to go to Cleveland? Look on the pictures online. <laughs> I get it, 100%. Steve, don't fucking go. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, go and then just get out. Right. Uh, it's just, it's 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 got cool things in there, in the right. rock hole. Like, there's cool objects inside there. Right. But, you, like, you can't touch them. Right. You can't, like, take pictures of it. So like you walk around, you walk around like you're just staring at fucking dinosaur bones, and that which is way cooler. I'd rather stare at dinosaur yeah, bones. Yeah, like the AGO. Yeah, but like I'm just like it's it's not worth the trip to. I would never no. say, hey, dude, road trip to the Rock and Hall of Fame. Okay, it's not worth it. Wow. If you're going to watch a baseball game, right, or right, I guess right. Steve, you know, the Browns, uh, you can go and step in right. there. But like it's expensive to get in because yeah. they got nothing else in that right. city, and it's just it's the price. Like, and if you want to look and see the CBGB sign. Yeah, the original, sweet. Yeah, it's yeah. right there. Yeah, you yeah. look at it, amazing. You want to see a Kurt Cobain guitar? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, but, ooh, but it's, it's kind of like it's very lackluster, man. Um, I, don't get me wrong. Listen, yeah, yeah, rock and roll memorabilia. It's yeah. fucking cool as hell. It's seen like yeah. you know his guitar, but then when you're there, you're just like, yeah, cool. Well, I went to the AGO when the David Bowie exhibit, exhibit? was there. Nice, and that was amazing because everything's interactive. You walk in with heads. They give you a pair. Of yeah, headsets. I didn't have headsets. I don't know if the, maybe that Did was you a go? thing. No, I meant to the Rock okay. Hall of Fame. Like, so they give you something. a Sennheiser head- headsets. Cool. And every room we walked in, when you walked into like the, say this was a display, you stand in front of it and you hear what's going on. You have on. to like push something in. The no, no, it just, just automatically go. kicks in. Oh, Bluetooth. And then there was a room okay. where it was uh, ten monitors. Yeah. And each one had their own little picture, oh, cool. and then it represented it itself on checks. Uh, oh, so you stepped on the floor, you listened to that monitor, et cetera, Yeah, exactly. Et cetera, et cetera. Cool. So it was the different videos of his whole discography. Okay, I like that. Which is awesome. And then the last room was the big stage that he did with the Freddie Mercury tribute concert. Ah, uh, cool. And you're just like, oh. and it was everything See, from the that's books cool. that he wrote. I think that's really cool. I think the whole audio yeah. part, I think, was is missing from the Rock and Roll Fame. Yeah. It's just like you go there and you read a plaque and you're like, this is the sweater that Kurt Cobain wore on the MTV Live when yeah. he played this song. And you're like... 
Okay, right, cool. cool, cool, cool. And they walk over there. James Brown slapped a bitch wearing this fucking <laughs> sweat. This thing. <laughs> and you're like, actually, that's fucking cool, man. That's cool. This is the this is the suit James Brown wore in that interview when he's the like, I'm all right. right, I'm all right. <laughs> the got the right. <laughs> you know, and you're like, uh, okay, you know, there, there's some cool facts. Right, but it's just like I don't know. Maybe it was just because Cleveland's so shit. It's like you right. walk, you like driving that city. The air is like, nah. um, I, you, just, you, yeah. just, you know, you you're happy. You're like, yeah, we're gonna go. As soon as you like cross into Cleveland, you're like, Ugh. I've only been to Ohio once, and that was for Sandusky to Cedar Point. To do like a Tommy Boy thing, Sandusky. No, <laughs> yeah. Cedar Point is the amusement park. Oh yeah, Six Flags. Is that what? No, no, no. Same thing. Well, well, uh, I think my brother went to that. I think at uh, one point it was Six Flags. I think it still stands on its own. Cedar Point. I think. I think Rob went. To that. It's the roller coaster, as they call it. Roller coast. Because it's right on the northern tip of the uh, Lake Erie on the south side. Got gotcha. you. And I mean, I went to Wonderland four or five times. The first time I went to Wonderland, funny enough, I mean, I'm four years old. And I see them build the mountain. Before, I, so, I, quick question. Yeah. Your first time in Wonderland. Four years old, right? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm just saying, like, four years old, I saw them build the mountain. Okay. That's how long I know, I've known of Canada's Wonderland. Damn First time man. I went yeah. was the graduation party. I don't know if you ever did that, but... Oh, like, grad, grad night. Grad night. I didn't... I don't, I don't know if we had one. I can't remember. So, okay, so you were, like, what, 14, 13, 13? 12, uh, grad night, I was 13. probably about... Is this 15. a high school? Yeah. High school grad night? Or, yeah, or high school. Or leaving night. elementary? No, high school grad oh, yeah, night. 15, then, if you're grad... Like, no. grade nine? Uh... Listen, I know it was long, listen, so, I know yeah, it was very six, long time 15, ago. 16, yeah. And it'll be very hard for you to think about yeah, it. Yeah, it was a long time I know, 15, 16. So, I was going to say, because I thought like maybe you went like as a four-year-old. No, no, could, no. You no. could ride all the I'm rides because you're fucking six feet year, at no, four. No, four years old, I saw them when they no, were no, still I, building the mountain. I got that. I just and thought. And now, like since that point, knowing you Canada's were land, the Smurf Village and everything, the only the first time I went was in 93, so it was 15. Is it just called Wonderland now? Yeah. Because not Paramount's anymore. Who knows what it might be called. Is is, uh, Hanna-Barbera still there? It might be called Sold for Scrap. I don't know. No, it's... it's, You think think Hanna-Barbera Land's still there? No. No, they they rechanged everything. Hanna-Barbera got sold out, and they don't exist anymore. It sucks. I ate uh, ate lunches quite a few times in the Flintstone car. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, so grad night. My wife, Betty. Right. Well, grad night... Me and fucking Rosie, <laughs> yeah, me and Rosie around. O'Donnell had fucking lunch together. Right. Well, yeah. Grand Night was cool because it was... Because uh, it was nighttime. It was like after the park closed, right? Yeah, it was all the high schools from all of Ontario, the whole province of Ontario. That sounds dangerous. Met there. And then, yeah, you just have the rides from like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> you to, guys just find this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what school are you from? And just start stabbing <laughs> you guys all everybody. Fucking, what, what's that, what's that movie? The Jets and the... Uh, what was that movie? The Warriors? No. No, no. That's uh, your, it's oh, West Side Story. West Side Story. Where it's like, oh, you're from the, you're the Catholic board? <laughs> well, we're public. Yeah. We're <laughs> but it was fun. It was nice. a lot of fun. That You started at 10 at night. Cool. And went to like 6 in the morning, and then you took the bus back, and it was, yeah. Oh, it was shit, the park did, I don't think that happened for me. Yeah, I don't know. See, again, we played murder ball in high school, but you couldn't call it that anymore either. Also, again, the, the age gap is. All right, yeah, 10 years. 10 years. I That's feel like it existed, but I don't think I went. It was awesome. But know. that was the first time I went to Wonderland, and then I went like three times prior. But then, uh, did you have a season pass at no, all? No, I've had one. And then my third year yeah. in college, yeah, we decided to take a bus, a van trip to Cleveland to Cedar Point. Nice. And it was through, we did we did the first night we is did that the camping. one with Superman, the one that goes like down. No, like, no, no, no. Um, is that a six? Superman flight? is at Darien Lake. Ah, uh, Darien Lake, right? In I've Buffalo, been, I've been, I Buffalo. think I went there once. Cedar Point had at that point in two thousand was the Millennium Force, which was the biggest, tallest, faster, fastest coaster in the world at that cool. point, and. Uh, you guys yeah. took a bus trip there? No, we, we rented a van. Oh, the van. Room, our, Me and my roommates, we rented a van, and we just went. So Sweet. we went camping. It started off with camping on a Friday night. Well, I mean, you're, Saturday, pretty, you're close we to the border. Right? That way yeah. you were out there in Niagara. Yeah. Right? So it was amazing. So we just had a weekend there, and they had 20 roller coasters. And they even had, like, they had similar roller coasters in Wonderland, but like their stand-up coaster was way faster. and had way more loops. It's like mm. Wonderland's great, but when you went to Cedar Point, it's like Wonderland who? Like, it was just like... This is true. Yeah. yeah. It was just so weak afterwards. When's the last time you've been to Wonderland now? When's the last time you were there? <laughs> I, I feel like 21. I went... So, over 20 years ago. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I went uh, about six, seven years ago, I want to say. Yeah. I, I, I don't I, know if I can do it anymore. I threw up yeah. after a ride. Yeah. It was just, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm old. And you, you know, I knew I was old. Your canal's narrow. Yeah, I got out. Shit. And I was like, oh, I'm not fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
No, I yeah. just want to ride the bumper carts and I just want to eat funnel cake and uh, and I've tiny seen Tom's too many donuts. I've seen, I've seen too many of the horror movies uh, videos now. Yeah, but that's not gonna happen in Wonderland. No, that's but the, yeah, that, that's my like oversized, the, my overhang, oh, everything. You, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, special. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you can you can swing across and your feet like dangle and, and then, you just yeah. chop a leg off or I kick a kid's in the face. Yeah, it's not so great being tall anymore, <laughs> is it? You fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Perks yeah, of the <laughs> short people. Well, average. Oh, yeah. he's a fucking giant. Right? Uh, it's just yeah. There's some things I've seen and go, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, and and a friend of mine has a great great rule. If you haven't done something and you're now you're over your thirty, it's too late. Don't do it. Well, Look, think about it. think about it. If you if there's if I never drove a car, I should never. No, drive no, a car. no, 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 no. Talking no, like, like, like talking like extreme, like water skiing, like anything that's okay, like I think snowboarding. you go water ski it. 30. Have I mean, you ever even, water skied? No, but no. I, I would try. So, I just don't know anybody who's got a boat and, and water then, skis. And then you break your collarbone and then you can't work. Yeah, yeah. You you break it, you get a new one. <laughs> Canada, baby. The collarbone. <laughs> I, get, I get a new one. It's Canada. Yeah. I get whatever I want in Canada, right? It, right, Trudeau? Yeah, yeah. That's right, baby. <laughs> fuck we'll that asshole. After I hit a home run. Uh, no, fuck that guy. Anyway, um, anyway, I just, uh, I, I could not, I don't think I can do the Daredevil rides anymore. I just, you know, a fun story about Wonderland. When I was going as a kid. Right. Because I, I went a lot. Like, my mom used to take me to my brother a lot. And, well, when you're uh, in the city, why not, right? Yeah, I'm a city boy. Yeah. You know it, through and through, baby. Right. I'm original six. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. The six. Like, Wonderland we had our water called. parks. We had the one. Our, Wild Water um, Kingdom? No, uh, Sports World and shit like that. And Bingham's. It's still I going. Even, I don't even know what going. that is. Uh, but I, we, we, uh, I used to be terrified of roller coasters. Okay. Like, you know, you, 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 the ter- there's two types of terrified, and I okay. was I was the extreme. Right. So there was like you scream, you really don't want to go on, you scream, whatever. I would like, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. Like, they're like, oh, don't worry, we'll just get you up there, and you can just jump on the other side, like regular spider, right? <laughs> right? I'd be like, no problem. And then like they would sit me down, close the fucking bars. I'd close my eyes the entire fucking ride. Yeah. And like people would laugh, like people we were with are laughing at me, and I'm like, just, ah, I'm screaming, I got my yeah. eyes fucking closed. Like I couldn't do it. Right. I was fucking petrified wow. to people, like to the point where people loved going on rides with me, Didn't do just it to anymore. fucking watch I'll me, just watch you scream, be fucking terrified. Wow. Like, How'd you get over it? Just being older. I grew up. Getting up. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, stupid me. First and only <laughs> time I went to Disney World, I was twelve. I fucking love Disney World in Florida. Yeah. And. uh I went with my aunt and my uncle. Nice. And they wanted me to go on Space Mountain. And then when I realized that because there's that observation deck where you can actually hear the roller coaster, but you can't see anything. Yeah. And you're in the same room going, look, you can't even see your hand in front of your face. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, I'm not doing it this. Was for the, it wasn't even for the fear that, oh, there might be something in the in the tunnel. It's the fact that if I can't see my hand. I don't like it. You um, know I'm afraid of the dark. Right? I don't know what's coming. Not, yeah. fall. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. And I remember... Um, I think it was the Dumbo ride, the okay. one that goes. But they do it also with rockets, sure. In yeah. Epcot, well, I I pulled the throttle back, that I'm basically on a full now. Full, <laughs> full, full, everyone's up here on a 45. I'm on a full, complete 90, and I'm all falling out. Stop the ride! <laughs> He's but, gonna die. I was like, going, what are you trying to do, Tom Cruise? Yeah. Fly off the so thing? I all went right. to I went to Disneyland. I think it was like two years ago now, right. three years ago. Me and Carolyn as adults. Right, right, right. And uh, I was fucking hammered. It was probably like not in Disneyland because apparently they don't serve booze in certain parts of Disneyland. Like just freely you can walk around. Lander World. Florida or California? Florida. Okay. Was that Lander World? World. World, Disney World. And so we we were, we got, we went to like the Universal Studios and the Adventure Land, uh, Adventure World, something anyway. Uh, And then we also did like, uh, you know, Epcot and we did the whole thing in Epcot, dude. You know, so you know, you go to every world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every every, every country. Yeah. We were, I was hammered <laughs> by the time. So we, we went to, like, if you go, if you start on the right, you start, like, in Canada or something, and okay. then you work your way around, you come back to whatever. We went to the left. Uh, we, we started in Mexico. Okay. Tequila. Okay, Talking yeah. Talking tequila all the time. We ended up in, like, Norway or something. We were drinking, like, beer. We uh, went to Italy, glasses of glasses of glasses of wine. Japan, we were doing sake. Like, yeah. oh. I was fucking hammered. We drove well, plus, there. Plus the heat. We drove. Right. Oh, wow. And we were fucking hammered. <laughs> Dude, and then like, and then we went to other places, and we were drinking. And we drank. It was the funnest. It was so much fun yeah. as an adult. And like, yeah. you see all these people with like their kids, and you're like, you uh, guys, look, you, suck. you guys look <laughs> fucking miserable. The yeah. trick is, right? People with kids go early. People yeah. with kids are going like park open, home by three. Yeah, yeah. Four, get it out. Yeah, get so them we up were, by We time. were going in the afternoon and right. still enjoying everything. Right. I almost threw up after a hair part of riding. 
Really? <laughs> it was like one of those like 4D interactive 3D okay, things. Okay, okay. And I'm on this I thing. think you told me that. Like swinging like around and you're trying to watch the Harry Potter yeah, and this yeah. dragon come after you. And I was a little drunk. And uh, I fucking almost, me, I, I was like, I got through. I'm like, <sighs> I'm in a viral. But it was honestly, we should go as like adults. Like yeah, it's so much better. See, the I Star really, Wars thing would be awesome. But that's land. Uh, it's also oh, the world, both, yeah, yeah, but, but land it's better, is better in land, so we have to go to land. Of course. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll do it. Yeah. I went and, like, uh, we, we went to this thing, and we went to see, like, uh, Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. It wasn't really Adam Driver, but it was super cool, and I was intimidated. How, did, uh, <laughs> how does Adam Driver fit into that helmet with this big nose? <laughs> <laughs> One, one, Have you seen one that? Nostr- fuck? One nostril all the time. Who, whose um, nose is that? Because it's definitely not Harrison Ford's. It's definitely not Carrie Fisher's. Unless it's the Coke nose. That grew. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't yeah. know. Anyway, let's do. I think we should do. You know what I think we should do? Okay. Let me just spit, let me throw some shit at you here. Okay. Maybe this is Scotch Vinny. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is I, brainstorming. Maybe I, we ran this by before we started the podcast. No, no, this is ago? something completely. Okay. Maybe. I think right. we should do a series of like. Car video, like our yeah, road, road trip trips. videos. Like, oh, we, did. Yeah, we did. Fuck. All right, let's end this. Let's end this podcast. Uh, all right, listen. Uh, I'll recap. And I, ran in, I ran in by the others, and they're into it too. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's uh, let's end this podcast. Yes, because maybe maybe we're still drinking. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm a good boy. Zoot zoot. Uh, zoot zoot. Uh, Okay, well, let's recap. We talked no. about uh, TV shows. S- TV shows. I'm drinking scotch today at work. And, yeah. uh, COVID and the amazing team of COVID people we yeah. have at work is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, roller coasters and how terrible, terrible, terrible Cleveland is. Um, <laughs> you can find us on our social media pages. <laughs> Grunts and Grumbles Official is our uh, Instagram. Yes. Our. YouTube, YouTube right is uh, Grunts and Grumbles podcast, yeah. uh, and uh, I'm at Zom Vinny. I'm at TG Wheel, man. And uh, as always, uh, it was a pleasure, and uh, can't wait to do it again. See you guys later. Yeah. Now Cleveland's real bad. <laughs>